بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ایم مزمل یاقو لیکچر ڈپارٹمنٹ آف ٹیکنالوجی اینڈ یو آر انسٹرکٹر فار دس کورس وچ از کمپیوٹر ایڈٹ بلڈنگ ماڈلنگ اینڈ ڈیزائن سو ان دس ویڈیو لیکچر وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اباؤٹ کمپیوٹر گرافک سافٹ ویئرس اینڈ اٹس ڈیٹیل انٹروڈکشن then in second part of our this video lecture we are going to discuss uh, configuration of a graphical systems so dear students let's let's start so first let's go through its definition so what it says basically the graphics software is the collection of programs uh, written to make it convenient for a user to operate the computer graphic system for example uh, it includes programs to generate images on a CRT screen means cathode ray tube and to manipulate the images and to accomplish various type of interaction between the user and the system user uh, can work on different uh, CAD platforms as well which is run by system system means computer systems and uh, the second point is uh, the graphic software for a particular computer graphic system is very much uh, function of the type of hardware used in a system as we discussed in our previous lecture uh, previous video lecture and uh, the third point is the software must be written sp specifically right it's very important specifically for the type of cathode ray tube and the type of input devices used in that particular system which is used by the user so what it mean it means uh, it must identify and uh, it must satisfy the needs of that particular project on which the user is working so let's uh, discuss in depth so basically uh, six ground rules that should be considered in designing graphical softwares so these six rules are based on simplicity consistency uh, competence uh, robustness performance and uh, economy so let's discuss them one by one so the first one is about its use which says that the graphic software should be easy to use and uh, the second one is about its consistency which says the package should uh, operate in a consistent consistent way and uh, facilitate in consistent way the user and uh, the third one is completeness means uh, there should be no inconvenient omissions in the set of graphical functions and uh, the fourth one is about robustness means uh, in other words strength it, so the graphic system should be tolerant of minor instant of measure by the operator or by the user right uh, with, who is working on the computer means uh, on cad system so the fifth one is about performance so within the limits uh, which what does it mean within the limits uh, imposed by the system hardware means the type of hardware uh, is used by the system the performance should be exploited as much as possible by the software and uh, graphic program should be efficient and uh, speed of response should be fast and consistent and the last one is about economy which means uh, it should not be large or expensive as to make their uh, use prohibitive so this was the six rules now moving towards the next part which is about its configuration so basically uh, operation of graphic system or uh, in other words uh, in the in the operation of the graphic system 
by the user a variety of activities take place which can be divided into three categories so the first one is interact means uh, interact with the graphical terminal uh, we discussed in our previous lectures what is graphical terminals so if you are not clear so please go through them so the first one uh, what it says interact right so the interaction between the uh, user and the system right so what does it mean interact with the graphical terminal to create and alter images on the CRT means cathode ray tube or screen the second one is about construct means uh, constructing a model of something right something means um, on what type of project the user is working on whether uh, he is working on means uh, physical images of something or some models or he is working on commands different commands so the definition is uh, indicating us towards that point and uh, the third one is uh, enter the model into computer memory or secondary memory or secondary storage so basically uh, these are the three categories which we discussed here in configuration now moving towards the next slide so in this slide uh, the graphical software right uh, as says that it is divided into three modules on the basis of its uh, conceptual model so the first one is uh, the graphical package the second one is the application model and the third one is uh, application database so let's go through them one by one in detail so the first one is says uh, that the graphical pa package is the software support means is the software support between the user and the graphical terminal right and uh, in other words you can say uh, it consists of input and output subroutines subroute means uh, for example uh, when user input commands and data and forward them to the application program and then uh, output controls the display right turn display terminal and uh, converts the application model for example if the user is working on two dimensional so it will convert into it it means uh, the application will convert into two dimension or uh, for example if the user is working on multi dimensional mean three dimensional so it will convert into three dimensional graphical pictures so this is the first module now let's discuss second one so the second module which says the application program is uh, implemented by the user to construct a model of a physical entity whose image is to be viewed on the graphical screen right in other words application programs are written for particular problem areas for example uh, engineering drawings architecture or construct construction based right or mechanical components or uh, in other uh, means field of engineering as well for example uh, chemical engineering or aerospace engineering so these are the problems right and uh, in in each case yeah in each case the application software is developed to deal with images and uh, conventions which are appropriate for the field right so this was all about the uh, application program so let's move towards the third and the last module of graphical configuration right so it says that the third module in third module the graphical software uh, is a database right which means uh, it consists mathematical numerical and uh, logical definitions of the application models such as uh, electronic circuits 
mechanical components and uh, automobile bodies so it depends on what type of project uh, the user is working on so it will store in the database and uh, it includes uh, numeric information as well uh, associated with the model or associated with the project so such as bill of materials or bill of quantities or mass properties and uh, other data related to the uh, project right or related to the model so this was the third module and uh, here in this picture you can see the design workstation right how it interact and work with three modules of graphical configuration right as we discussed earlier in previous slides how these three modules connect with each other and uh, how these three modules means uh, work with this design workstation so it is clearly illustrated in this figure so this was all about our today's lecture so hope it's clear so see you inshallah in our next video lecture till then Allah Hafiz